Alright, it's Adam B. Live here with the tutorial and blog link. Well, not tutorial. I'm gonna just post this video log um, of a site that I found that is very useful for all those that are interested in wanting to do dub techno and learning about how to create stabs. So I'm gonna save my the, the trouble for you know for you guys, and I'm gonna post the link which is right here and then at the end of this file of this blog there is uh, a link to a live set where you can get you know uh, the link of oh, well, this live set right here or instrument rack which is really good Hi and uh, welcome back to free music uh, and it's really interesting I'm going to subscribe to this guy as well. Which I find it really interesting. You know, this site is really good for about drum synthesis with Ableton Live. I mean, he has some good information. So you guys, I recommend you to um, subscribe to his page as well. He only has 51 subscribers, and I think this guy has really good information, and I uh, want to share this with you guys as well. You know. I'm all about sharing and wanting to pass on information to all my subscribers so they can have a link to some information on how to use Ableton Live for any mediums of sound or you know sound design and stuff. Um, I was downloading the live set of that live instrument. And I even bookmark his page and I'm gonna check out this other guy. Just Ronnie Price and he talks about the creation of chords and stats remain one of the most frequently asked questions on music production forums, specifically about those floating around in your head chords. As heard in nowadays in depth that dubstep, dub techno and related genre. The building blocks are actually quite stiff stuff. Basic stuff. Nevertheless people people think it's way too complex. Let's have a look. And he explained here, you know, how to use the ping pong and the reverb. So it's a good way of, you know, learning how to get the bass stab sound and you know he even explains it here and when you add the chorus and all this other adding effects and then when you add the ping pong and the uh, reverb which is really nice he explained the ratio that you need for that sound, you know, on the decay time and everything. And um, as you can see that he doesn't put that much of, you know, feedback on the ping pong delay, which is really good. This is how it's supposed to sound. And then when you put a compressor, There's this whole entire track. And this is just with the Tau synthesizer, the Tau Uno 62. Simple synthesizer, BST. 
and this is what you can get. Amazing. I mean, it's very simple to create dub techno. See, I don't have a towel, but I can add, instead of adding the towel, okay, let me see, supposedly here, the towel's supposed to be here, right? Uh, we'll put in, if you guys don't have a towel, which I don't, you know, I don't think I have a towel here. No, I don't have that synthesizer. But you can always throw in yourself a operator and do the same steps that I did, you know, with um, turn these oscillators off, put them in this algorithm 70% here, bring this down. Sustain, bring it up. And let's just hit some. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. some noise somewhere here I can hear it oh he had it here vinyl distortion as you can see auto filter EQA reverb and a compressor and he put the minor 10 which is located right here so you can see these are the core. If you go to the MIDI effect and you go core, well, let's say if you put in um, analog, I don't know. Let's throw in an analog. Let's go 
chord G. why he's using a uh, sand right here when there's no effects inside the sand he just put it in as a return into the master example right there of what he's showing us to as well he's in the towel again it's asking me for the towel funny thing is that he probably has the macro no he doesn't have a macro out but there's a lot of ways of creating you know these stabs that people have no idea it's all about playing around and creating it I'm going to put again um, an analog synth.
see he uses an EQA even here and as well. with these chords. Uh, let's turn it up later. Let's see how that sounds like.
guys I'm gonna post the link to this site because it's a very interesting site and I hope you enjoy it take care have a good one peace